Hey guys, how you doing? Just cleaning up the kitchen today. Just uh, a whole stack of dishes here that I need to do. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Uh, I was off yesterday and I got uh, I took the Jeep down to get worked on and uh, it's fixed. So the Jeep is back running again. The charger is stuck in Southern California. Uh, when I went to visit uh, Thanksgiving, they just kind of left me there. I barely made it. I was coasting in the driveway uh, and I was visiting family. So, Finally, my brother uh, let me borrow his van, and uh, I decided to leave the the charger there. And uh, so, anyways, um, gonna have it work on pretty soon here. And uh, yeah, so hopefully I'll get the charger running pretty soon too. So. So for the meantime, I was glad to get the, the deep fix. And so that's working pretty good right now. Uh, I actually drove it home yesterday, but I didn't, uh, I didn't do much else with it. Just kind of washed it. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I'll give you a little. Matter of fact, let's go. I'll go show you right now, okay? Let's go check it out, okay? So yeah, so the Jeep is, is fixed, it's looking good, nice and clean. Um, Cleaning out my kitchen today, and uh, doing dishes. Uh, the dishes just pile up, you know. I don't know, but you know, I can't get myself to use uh, paper plates and stuff. I just, I don't know, for some reason, I just can't. Uh, so, so I end up having to do dishes. It's like old school, old school dishwasher, but this is good to wash and let this, just let the air dry, so I do that. For the most part, it's, it's fun, it's good. So for the most part, it's good. The weather's nice outside. It's nice and sunny. A little cool, but not bad. Gardeners were here yesterday, so the backyard's looking nice. And uh, so, yeah, that's what I'm doing today. I'm gonna listen to some tunes. I don't know if you watched. Uh, I put a video together not too long ago. I was listening to a song and and uh, put a video together yesterday. So when you get a chance, go check it out on my YouTube channel. It was dusty yesterday, actually, uh, the night before yesterday was actually really uh, windy. And the part of the fence, uh, the gate, uh, front uh, was kind of broken down. I'm surprised Bayless didn't sneak out. You know? But uh, so yeah, yesterday before I took the Jeep to get work on, I fixed the I fixed the fence, and uh, the wind actually the wind continued all day yesterday. But uh, finally this morning it was. Nice and calm. 
no wind at all right now, which is pretty cool. My uh, patio is really nice with the uh, with the uh, bamboo uh, with the bamboo wind chimes, you know. I guess the chime would be like like a little right. I don't know what you'd call it if it's a bam if bamboo type because it's more like a woodsy sound, you know, like you know. So <laughs> anyway. Uh, that's what I have out in the patio, and I, I love the sound of the bamboo hitting up against each other. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. But when it's windy, it's just like really a bunch of it, you know, a bunch of sound going on. I wonder if the neighbors get irritated or uh, if they don't like it or not. But they haven't said anything, so I, I would probably imagine if they're okay with it. Otherwise I think they would have said something. Neighbors are pretty quiet. Well, overall. Uh, they don't uh, they don't say much. Just uh every once in a while a wave. You know, a hello how do you do? But that's it, pretty much, for the most part. Everybody stays pretty quiet around here. Which is good. I like it like that. Now, you're thinking about shutting down even more and limiting uh, the restaurant to just uh, take out and third party delivery or curbside. So I don't know, that, that'll probably start soon, I guess. Maybe sometime next week. So I'm not really looking forward to that. The other day it came in the mail, or came uh, via Amazon. Finally got it, and uh, I put it together uh, the day before yesterday. So I will be riding that around, maybe, hopefully. I need to, I need to put some air in the tires because uh, the came, the tires came kind of low in air, so. But yeah, the thing about that, you know, it came, uh, so you put it together, but uh, everything, uh, you know, the tools you need, is, uh, they're all metric, you know, so I think it came from China or something, but um, I don't have any metric tools. So I had to improvise. Uh, one of the things that they, that we needed was a an Allen wrench, uh, and it was like I don't know, I forget some how many millimeters or whatever. But <clears throat> I took one of the standard ones that I had, and uh, what I did is I filed it down so that it would work on that. It actually worked pretty good. So, yeah, if you guys ever needing a uh, Allen wrench that is metric and you don't have one, but you do have a standard, 
you can uh, yeah, you can file it down. File it down just a little bit each side there and uh, and it works. Actually it works pretty good. But I did that. The only one thing you can't do is like once you file it down you can't you can't go back the other way. So probably the best thing to do is buy one. Uh, buy a buy a set, right? Buy a set for metric. You know. So I'll probably be doing that. Get a get a uh, Allen wrench set. That's metric. Well, this is accumulation of dishes from. I guess three days, four days maybe. Days that I'm off. And uh, so I guess I shouldn't let it get too bad, huh? I could get in the habit of just washing as soon as I use them. That would be the best practice, is to, you know, as soon as you're done, just wash it. So. I don't know. I'll try to get into that habit. That way, you won't have to do a full. That way, it won't have to be like this every, every time. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? So, looks like. I think a good cutting board is an essential part of every kitchen. I think everybody should have a good cutting board. See, the one I have is a uh, this one here it's a uh, it's a bamboo if you can see the little tag on here I don't know it's on here so it's uh, something island island bamboo so anyway yeah it's been a pretty good cutting board I've had it for a while now and uh, Clean it up. <coughs> <Ooh>. <coughs> <coughs> ah, I sliced some jalapenos on this the other day. <laughs> and the water's hot. So you could, uh, <coughs> putting out that, uh, that jalapeno smell. Getting <coughs> 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 I'm actually still getting jalapenos and uh, chili serranos <coughs> from the garden. Isn't that crazy? Man. So yeah, it's been uh, they've been pretty good plants. <clears throat> they produce quite a bit and even now like I said still I think uh, we'll go out there later on today and I'll show you <clears throat> but yeah there's still some more peppers out there to uh, harvest which uh, yeah we'll do that later on today <clears throat> But yeah, I don't know if you could see. <coughs> <coughs> see, 
See the uh, right there? Anyhow, The hot water, <clears throat> the hot water makes it steam. And that steam coming up with <clears throat> the jalapeno power knocks you out. Woo. I guess it could be some kind of, uh, it, you could use it as a, some kind of form of uh, like pepper spray. It's probably... <coughs> Probably kind of like the idea behind the pepper spray uh, thing. Pressurize it. Spray it. any more space for these I think I will leave them on this side I think that will go right here and I have one more All right, guys, let's go check out the garden. The wind did a number on these plants. Uh, here's my jalapeno plant. This kind of pulled it off of the ground here. I think I'll put a stake on that and help it help it up. It's a nice bell pepper. I think I'll cut that off today, have it on salad, maybe. Yeah little tomatoes they're still producing crazy right jalapenos oh these are chile serranos nice big fat jalapeno mm -hmm. some red ones up there another one right here yeah so they're still producing tomatoes. Not so much on the tomatoes. We do have some flowers here. 
maybe we'll produce on the regular tomatoes but yeah the little tomatoes are still producing mm. have these little guys with the salad today yeah I wanted to show you this over here there's this bell pepper on this side so what I did with the plants I took them off there because it was, it was getting too cold so I kind of Put them down underneath the eaves a little closer to the potting table so i pretty much hung them all up here they were getting kind of uh frostbite and moved them this little plant in my pot it's got a jalapeno there another one over here that's a nice little plant and this little plant is just growing up nice and strong and it's got a little jalapeno there too this is the one I wanted to show you. It's uh, in this pot here. I planted a bell pepper. And if you can see, it's kind of hanging over. I need to put a stake on that. But it's got one bell pepper there. Another one here. And another one there. So yeah, this little plant here in this pot is producing three bell peppers for me, which is pretty cool. This other plant here was also kind of freezing. You could see the yellow leaves and stuff. So since I moved it over to this section, the leaves are, are much greener and stuff. This is a uh, pot I made. It's basically a uh, towel soaked in cement, and uh, yeah, so that's what came out of it. And then I just painted it black, so I'll be planting something on there. So yeah, and then these plants are still doing good. I had to move them underneath here, which is good. That's what's going on.